So, Mr. Cohen, you and your colleagues conducted a study in 1993 investigating stress and the common cold. Tell us about it. Well, our aim was to investigate the effect of stress on resistance to disease. This was an indicator of immune system functioning. We had 394 participants who were all healthy. And what was your procedure? Well firstly they completed a questionnaire to tell us about their stress levels. From the questionnaires we were able to suggest if they were classed as high stress or low stress. What happened next Mr. Cohen? Next, most of the participants were given various types of respiratory infection, such as the common cold via a nasal drip. Some of the participants were only given saline solution. Ah! I think I know what's coming next. But do tell us Mr. Cohen. The participants were then quarantined in apartments and a doctor checked them for signs of infection and clinical disease. Our findings were quite interesting. My notes say that you found a relationship between high stress levels and development of the common cold. Is that correct Mr. Cohen? Yes. People with high stress were more likely to become infected and develop symptoms. So, stress increases the risk of infection and disease. There is a correlation.